Hey, what's up guys? E back here with another video and this time we're going to take a look at all the new reveals from Hasbro PulseCon 2021 regarding Marvel Legends, of course. First off, you're looking at me right now. I was actually part of the fan wall uh, reaction and uh, they had a lot of toy influencers there, including myself. You can see here they captured all of us at some pretty terrible moments here. Um, Shardimus is completely gone and everyone has like a face where they're just not even prepared to be captured at all. It's just, I guess they were just taking random screenshots or, you know, video clips of us randomly. And this, this shot right here just <laughs> doesn't do us justice at all. But, um, I, I, I'm pretty sure this happened during one of the, uh, you know, parts of the video where there wasn't much going on or nothing was getting revealed. So we're just listening in and that's it. So solely focused on Marvel Legends, let's get this started because there's quite a bit and I don't want to make this a long, long video. I'm going to skip over the retro three and three quarter inch figures because I'm just not interested in those. So we're going to go straight to the, um, you know, the meat and potatoes here, which is the six inch Marvel Legends. First up, we have the reveal of the figure Null, and this is a figure that a lot of people have been you know, asking for, especially Big Nice, I know he's been uh, asking for this figure for, you know, for some time, and this is just a digital render, it's not the final product, they don't have uh, that yet, they actually showed us a lot of digital renders, so a lot of stuff that is a little bit farther off from release, and they just don't have anything to show us, but we can get an idea of what it looks like through this image here, this is all they showed us, looks pretty dope to me, I'm pretty stoked for it. Next, they revealed their next Walgreens exclusive, and it's actually part of the Super Villains Wave, I guess. It's a single release, but it's the same package from that Super Villains Wave, and this is Baron Zemo, which is a very nice classic-looking Baron Zemo. This is a must-have. It looks great, um, so look for that at Walgreens. Hopefully, they put it up on the website, because I have no luck when it comes to hunting Walgreens stores. My Walgreens in my area are absolute trash. Next, we have some more additions to the Retro Vintage Carded Wave. This wave is still alive and strong via single releases. So we recently got Tigra and Hercules, which are both great figures. And now we got some West Coast Avengers, starting off with Scarlet Witch. Now, this is the same body mold, same exact figure from the Family Matters 3-pack. And if you missed out on that 3-pack, then here's your chance to get Scarlet Witch from that pack. And she has um, a little bit of a different paint deco. Um, if you compare it to the uh, three pack, it's a darker tone on that. And this is a more lighter, uh, you know, comic book ish tone. And I really like the West Coast Avengers logo on the box itself. Uh, so here you can see some more images of the Scarlet Witch. Same body, same everything. We got the pins and all. But it's still a great looking figure with a great head scope, as you can see right here. And accompanying her. Rightfully so, we have White Vision, and this is actually, uh, you know, pretty great time. It's a little late, I guess, because WandaVision happened so long ago, but since we technically got this here, this White Vision and that Scarlet Witch and that Halloween costume episode from the show, you know, pretty good timing in releasing these figures. But here we have a White Vision West Coast Avengers Retro Vintage Wave Vision release here. And I guess he was barefooted, so they pointed that out in the live stream that he was barefooted and didn't wear shoes or anything. So that's why he's got the toes uh, out and all. But uh, you can see he is sporting an older body mold, of course. It looks like the Bucky Cap torso. So it's the last remnants of that Bucky Cap because right after this, they revealed that the Bucky Cap mold is going to be obsolete after this brand new body mold, which will be the new quote-unquote Bucky Cap mold and it looks great and this is Vulcan and this is also another digital render so it's not something that they have ready to go yet but this is beautiful because of course this means we're going to get pinless elbows and knees from now on on the majority of our figures and it just looks good it's a very nice mold we got some butterfly joints there finally those are normal now in our new again quote-unquote Bucky Cap mold now I guess we're going to start saying the Vulcan body mold for the next 5 to 10 years. Alright, and right after that we went into some MCU figures. The only MCU stuff that they announced today. We didn't get any Infinity Saga reveals at all. I'm very curious to know if that's going to continue. But we have a 2-pack, a Captain America 2-pack. We have a re-release of the Falcon, Captain America, Sam Wilson, Captain America. 
and a re-release of the Steve Rogers Endgame Captain America that was a Walgreens, I'm sorry, it was a Walmart exclusive um, that I actually never got, never went and found them. I, I couldn't find them. Um, and then, of course, the Sam Wilson just released. Uh, so this two-pack really isn't very necessary for anybody that has these two figures. I just got that Sam Wilson cap, so I don't really need it. I know he comes with a new ungoggled head sculpt. Uh, that's kind of like their incentive for you to grab this thing again. But I don't know if it's enough for me to, to do so. I'm going to see if maybe the paint apps on the body are better than the original release. And I'll definitely grab this one. Because I know the paint apps on the original release was a little spotty sometimes. And a little messy at, you know, depending on the one that you, you got. Uh, and, of course, I am excited for this cap. I don't have it, so... Uh, pretty uh, pretty dope that I get to get this, uh, you know, this Captain America finally. He does look good. And then right after that, we get a new Winter Soldier, which is pretty dope. I like it. I think he's got some body parts from the original release, which came out way back from the actual Winter Soldier movie wave, which was a while ago. But he definitely has a new head sculpt, and it looks good. That's definitely the money maker in this release, and I'm going to pick it up just because of both the unmasked uh, head and the masked head looks great. Uh, and then that was it for MCU stuff. Moving on to one of my favorite unveilings of today. We have the X-Men Wolverine in a VHS box. I'm a big fan when it comes to package designs. And this is just so good. I mean, you can't sit here and say that this does not look good. It's so, so nice. Uh, it's a bigger size uh, box, of course. It's not the actual one-to-one -one size of a VHS because the figure would not fit inside. But it's still the same dimensions. I know they mentioned that. Uh, and it's just going to look great, you know, in your display. Just displaying the box and maybe the figure in front of it. But it's a nice box. And then moving on to the actual figure, we have, yes, another Wolverine. And he's got the same Wolverine body mold that we've been getting for quite some time. But we get a new head scope. It's got that classic, um, you know, the ears kind of spread farther apart. And then the new claws there. And he also has cell shading paint deco, which gives it that animated look. Kind of the first time Hathaway's ever done that. And the biggest part of this is that you can recreate the meme from, you know, the big famous Wolverine meme when he's looking at the picture frame. This is great. It's got a picture of Jean Grey and Cyclops there. Uh, and they did mention that you can remove that picture and put your own picture there of whatever you want. And I can already see tons of people making, you know, funny posts using, you know, this figure here. Uh, we all know Mondo was actually the first one to recreate this scene in their figure that they uh, put up for pre-order or for release recently. And I'm so glad that Hasbro went ahead and did the same because this is a much more affordable option and it's, you know, a better scale for me, in my opinion. So I'm super stoked about this release. And then along with this Wolverine, we get a Jubilee also in that awesome VHS package design. And man, this is just like, this is very scary for my wallet because if they leave it at this, then it's going to be okay. But if they keep going and give us more vhs style releases i'm gonna have to buy them i'm gonna have to buy two of each i gotta keep one mock and keep one you know open but man it looks great maybe i don't have to because you don't really see the figure inside you could just have the you know the open box you know next to it but anyways we get a digital render of jubilee this time around uh this one's not finished unlike the wolverine so uh what you see here could be a little bit different in terms of paint but very exciting we got the yellow gloves on this release uh, and of course, probably sporting most of the same parts from the original release. But this also has cell shading. And here's a look at them both next to each other in a very comic book-ish, animated-ish, you know, background here. Uh, and then following these two unveilings, we finally get to see the package design for the recently revealed, thanks to Unparalleled Universe, Captain America from the 20th anniversary of Toy Biz Marvel Legends. I really wanted a one by one scale Toy Biz blister carded package, but uh, it wasn't done. It was done this way. We get a blister package, but we get a cardboard back. So it's a carded card. It's not exactly what it was, you know, in the Toy Biz days, but I get it. I know they're trying to reduce plastic and I think that would have been a lot more expensive too. These figures are already at 30 bucks a pop. 
So you could already see um, how much you know it costs to just release these 20th anniversary figures. Uh, it's a little pricey, I must say, but it, they're must-haves for sure. This is definitely one of the ones you're going to get one to open and one to keep sealed. At least I will. And as you can see, and as we probably most of us have seen already from the Unparalleled Universe review, this figure is phenomenal. It's probably the best Captain America that we've gotten. It's the best one we're going to have for quite some time, I believe. It's definitely the definitive version you want to get. And you can see that Hasbro tried to uh, recreate or pay tribute to that Series 1 cap from Toy Biz Legends with that backdrop that has one side, has the comic book cover, and then the other side has the actual diorama piece uh, that the original figure came with. But also, this puts into perspective how much we got before for our money, how badly inflation has gotten as well. So before, you know, back in the day, Series 1, Toy Biz, Marvel Legends, this Captain America came with Captain America, of course. The diorama piece itself, actual diorama piece, plastic, everything, and a comic book. And the blister packaging all for like six bucks and now we're paying 30 bucks for just the figure and then a cardboard reproduction of the diorama and the comic book it's a little sad to think about but you know I'm not trying to make it sound like this is a crappy release because it is not I mean there's not a single person I know that's not gonna buy this but I'm just trying to put into perspective where we were before to, to where we are now you know in terms of cost of things Anyways, moving on to the next reveal, it is the next addition to this 20th anniversary Marvel Legends toy biz. It's of course Iron Man and this is definitely something I was expecting to be released. It looks like they are definitely going after the actual series 1 of toy biz legends which included Cap, Iron Man, Hulk, and Toad. They did mention Hulk and Toad will come out so that is a thing they're doing series 1. They did not show those two but they did show us Iron Man and you can see they went with the classic yellow and red. As we all know toy biz came out with many variants especially the Iron Man series 1 uh, which came you know one released in the classic yellow and red as you see here one of them released in a blue stealth color and then another one released in a gold you know kind of like the 80th anniversary color scheme of Iron Man that gold and then there was even another release with the pointy uh, mask like you see here Hasbro just gave us the yellow and red classic colors with the pointy mask so we don't get alternate heads only an unmasked head which actually the original one did not come with from Toy Biz the original one had the face mask that came off so I kind of wish they went all the way and gave us that removable face mask and tried to actually do exactly what Toy Biz did. But I'll take this. You know, they don't have to copy them exactly. They even mentioned that they changed the comic book that that figure came with to this comic book, which actually makes more sense. It looks like it should go with this figure. And then sadly, on the other side, we get an image of what the diorama piece um, that came with that Iron Man, which was the Tony Stark sign. Um, everyone has like a million of these lying around, so I guess we could just use one of our spares to put behind this figure. But again, it just puts into perspective like, dang, now we're just getting pictures of what we got in before. <laughs> so it's a little funny. But that's that's about it. This was a two hour panel, and there, I mean, it wasn't a ton, a ton, ton reveals, but it was a good amount of reveals. A lot of the time was used in those, uh, you know, conversations with, you know, other people, you know, artists and stuff like that. Uh, and also the people that did the animation of the 90s uh, X-Men, you know, animation. So a lot of time went to that. And then at the very end, we got the little sneak peek uh, teaser and... Dwight Stahl just laid this on the table and we just have to guess and think of what we are going to get from this. A lot of people are leaning towards Maggot and also Kindred. So which one do you guys believe it's going to be? Is it Maggot or Kindred? I'm thinking it's probably going to be Maggot. I don't think it will be Kindred, but it could go either way. You guys let me know down below what you think it's going to be. That's going to be it. That's everything that was revealed and shown today for the Hasbro Marvel Legends team at Hasbro PostCon 2021. Very nice panel. I, I, I must say Marvel and G.I. Joe pretty much stole the show this year. 
Uh, they did a great job. And then Star Wars Black Series did a decent job. They, they revealed some stuff. And also that Rancor HasLab was also, also officially revealed. So that was cool. Overall, the entire show was great for what you, you know, if you're into Star Wars and Marvel and G.I. Joe's, you had a great time. Uh, I can't say much about the other brands because I, I don't really collect like Nerf and uh, Magic the Gathering. So I didn't really watch that part of the show. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Let me know down below what your favorite reveal is from the Marvel Legends Hasbro PostCon 2021 showcase was. I must say I have to lean towards, gosh, it's a tie between the 20th anniversary Toy Biz stuff and those VHS Wolverine and Jubilees. But since we kind of knew about the 20th anniversary Toy Biz stuff already, um, I, I think I got to give it to the VHS jubilee and wolverine because we didn't know about that at all you know that was like a surprise to me and it it was so so good when it you know when it showed it because i you know i didn't see it coming i definitely saw the 20th anniversary stuff i was anticipating that the whole entire show i was waiting for them to show more i was hoping they were going to show hulk and toad uh and also the package design but we only got to see the package design which i'm stoked about cannot wait for those figures i hate that we gotta wait till middle of next year for those figures hopefully they end up releasing earlier as all toys end up you know releasing a little bit earlier than what they normally say they will you guys have a great rest of your day leave a like comment subscribe and as always i'll see you next time bye that's crispy